He will sleep right here to protect his sheep. Thus, he is a door to the sheepfold. Now, if you are a sheep in his care, he will give you whatever you so need. Food, water, care, love. You don't have to ask. He will give it to you by his own will. Thus the name, Good Shepherd. Now, the shepherd will, one, will once a year separate his flock. Sheep right, goats left. Now the sheep with the wool, he will uh, shear it to make clothing and socks for the winter. Now the goats with their hair, he'll clip it to make carpets and tents. Now this separation between goats and sheep is present in the Bible once more. It is present in the Gospel of Matthew, all right? Uh, where he goes on to say as such, when the Son of Man returns in all of its glory, he will sound like a shepherd, separating the nations like a shepherd separates his flock. The sheep, the righteous, will be on his right hand side. The goats, the non righteous, will be on his left hand side. The sheep will obey the good shepherd, followed his will, and did his will, will go with him into the sheepfold for eternal life. However, the goats, who did not obey him, did not follow him, or even listen to him, will instead be banished. So, there is a very important lesson here to be learned, my friends. The lesson is, don't be a goat. <laughs>